Okay, so I may have slept for 12 hours last night. I feel a lot more alive than I expected to though. This whole having a recovery day after Comic Con, that's got a lot going for it. I'm usually straight back at work the next morning. However, it seems I have left my toothbrush in London. So, Tesco toothbrush. It's 12 o'clock and I've literally only just got out of bed and haven't brushed my teeth yet. This is going to be a lazy day. Almost all of that stuff was for Andy. He has eaten us out of house and home over the weekend while we've not been there. So don't worry, we'll still be on the, the batch cooking wagon this week. Although, now I'm saying that, I realise that we haven't actually got a meal out of the freezer for us to have today. On the flip side of that, the freezer probably broke completely over the weekend. So chances are it's all defrosted ready to eat anyway. We're back at Peterborough Station. Um, I don't think, are we getting on a train this time? No. Anna's mum's going home. Everyone say bye to Anna's mum. Bye to mummy. There you go. Um, Andy's going to watch the trains. Hey, does that door need shutting maybe? <laughs> Splendid. Right, hopefully there'll be some trains to watch. My hair is interesting today. Yes, let's go and look at the trains. His latest obsession is cash machines, which is a bit of a problem. Because obviously he can't use cash machines. Everyone say bye bye. Say bye bye. Right, come on then. Come on, take it out. No. No. Do you want it? No. We're not going to church then. No church, no McDonald's. Do you want 8 p.m.? I don't have a card. We have a card. All I have is a ball. That's all I've got. One more. Right, no McDonald's, no church. No. No. Come on. ATM in a minute. Good boy. ATM in a minute. If anyone has any suggestions about that one, they'll be much appreciated. So obviously, we can't have him using the ATM. He once watched Anna use her. Does that fella want to shut up? I'm trying to do a vlog here. Apparently he doesn't. Um, he once watched Anna use her pin in Asda. I'm just going to assume you can hear me over Mr. Malvi over there. He once watched Anna use her pin in Asda and he just announced it to the whole of the shop and kept saying it for the rest of the day. So we can't have him watching us use the machine. So I don't really know what the solution to this one is, but he's just going on and on, ATM, ATM, over and over again and it will be all we hear for the rest of the day now so we'll have to yeah, buy an ATM I think that's the one she's on I don't know which way does it go does anyone know which way Nottingham is from Peterborough? London's that way, Scotland's that way Nottingham is kind of over there but the tracks don't go that way. Well, if she goes that way. Does she? Right, are we going home then? Yes, we are. Watch and go. It's fun now. Train or McDonald's? Andy, train or McDonald's? So I guess that's the one he was waiting for then. Kept saying one train, one train, that one goes. We didn't even have to tell him, and then we left. <sighs> what miserable weather. Good to be home, innit? Oh, my hair. My hair is a disgrace. It is eight minutes to eight. I have done nothing all day other than record the Football Manager 20 Years in the Future video that's going to go up on the main channel tomorrow. We've got quite a big week starting tomorrow. We've had a nice lazy recovery day today. Didn't wake up until nearly lunchtime. Just kind of sat around doing nothing all day. I read 
the um, the Angel Catbird book that I picked up at Comic Con. That was really cool. We're now going to watch the first episode of some TV show. The name I can't remember. It's by the same woman who wrote Angel Catbird. Catbird, Margaret Atwood. The Housemaid's Tale, I think. Apparently it's very good, we're gonna watch that. We're booked into the cinema for two movies tomorrow because tomorrow morning, and I have to be quite quiet about this because he's not keen on the idea, but tomorrow Andy goes to his residential place. We've got to drop him off in Boston at 10. So early start, get him off there. We're then going to the cinema at, I think at three o'clock, we're watching the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Then we're gonna go across the road to Frankie and Benny's, have a little bit of dinner, and then back to the cinema to watch Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which I still haven't seen. So that's gonna be an awesome day. And then for the rest of the week, it's work, work, work. I've now been authorized for my coursework marking and the first batch of exam marking, and I wanna get it all done this week. Usually on half term, I try and batch up loads and loads of football manager videos and stuff for the channels. It's not gonna be how we're gonna do things this week. I'm gonna be treating from Wednesday onwards daytime as work time and I'm gonna be marking and moderating the whole time just doing my normal football manager stuff in the evenings and get through the last 30, what is it, 30, 34 days at work I think and then we go full on YouTube, Twitch and writing mode once the summer holidays start and I can't wait. Six weeks time we're at Blackpool for play Blackpool, two weeks after that we're in Hull and then by the time we go to Hull I'll be full time at all this nonsense which is really 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 cool. This has been a short video, I realise that. I apologise but it's the way it is sometimes. Everyone has lazy days, I've not even had a shower, look at the state of my hair. I still smell of London. I need to sort myself out for the rest of the week. But, thank you for watching.